So in order for us to create our faceless portrait art in Photoshop, we will need to find two images. One would be a um, headshot with as little distractions as possible. And we also need an isolated cloud image. So we start by opening our headshot in Photoshop and select a small fraction that you want to remove from the image using any of the selection tools. I use the lasso tool to select the areas and now I'll go to the top menu, edit, and then content aware fill. And my artificial intelligence generates a content fill that to that selected area. Pay attention that the green areas are the areas that will be used to create the, the content inside. You can always expand the area that you want to be replaced by selecting more space and you can also edit the areas that will be used to create the content inside that selected area. When you're happy with the result, make sure the output is always to current layer, press OK and this is the result we've got. Command D, we deselect. And we have to repeat this process until we have removed all features from her face. So let's select again the area we want to remove. Make sure you select complete areas. Let's go to edit, content aware fill. Then again, we have the area that is going to be replaced and where we're getting the, the content from. So let's remove this area because we don't want it. This and again, current layer and OK. Now we com press Command D and deselect and we are almost there. We only need one eye now. We need to remove this uh, again, select using lasso two because this is an edge we have to be extra careful then after you select you go to edit content aware fill and let's do the process again uh see how this time it's selected uh as selected all the hair as a source for the the content we're gonna fill in here we remove the area because we don't want to use the hair just the face so make sure you remove all the area that you don't want to be used as a as the content feel and there we go i think this is all right so make sure current layer and okay if you need to do any retouches you can always use the clone stamp too and what it does is it copies pixels from one area and applies them to another. Think about it as copy and pasting, but you're pasting the content by painting. So this tool is most effective when you need to copy exact detail from one part of an image to another area. In order to use it, you have to first hold Alt and select the area that you want to copy from and then by clicking you paste the area somewhere else let's say we want to copy this area to fix this flow in here so i hold alt and click on the area i want to copy and then i click where i want to paste the copied area don't forget you can use the shortcuts brackets to make the brush bigger or smaller And I think we're good to go. Now that we have our faceless portrait, uh, let's do some adjustments and add some details to push the visual look of our, of our outcomes. So firstly, let's go to image, adjustments, and desaturate. This is gonna make our image black and white. 
now it's up to you to decide either if you if your image needs more adjustments usually a good idea is to change the brightness and contrast it can make your outcome much more impressive so let's go to image adjustments brightness and contrast um, maybe i'll decrease the brightness by 23 and also decrease the contrast by 10 and this is the outcome i've got and i need to duplicate this layer because i want to make some shadows on the corners of her face so i duplicate the layer and i'll change again on adjustments the contrast i'll make it darker so i'll increase the, the the contrast and i'll reduce the brightness in this image i'll use a layer mask remember layer masks the white areas are visible and the black areas invisible so if i want to show just the shadows because this this layer is a bit darker i'll invert uh, the colors in here by clicking command and i and using my brush to I'll just paint where I want this image to be visible. So change to white and paint where I want it to be visible. So don't worry if you, if you go uh, out of the areas you want, you can always change to black again and remove that area. So the shadows are only in this area and in the middle. So this is how it looks with the shadows and this is how it looked before without the shadows. Let's remove, fix this area and there we go. Uh, in order to make our outcomes more artistic, we are going to place some clouds. So go to File, Place Embedded, and we select our Clouds image, we add on top, and we will change the blending mode to one that shows only the whites. Um, either screen or light and would work. And this should work. Uh, so now we just have to reduce the opacity and adjust the position until we're happy with the outcome. You can also use more than one cloud image. So let's again place embedded and let's add our second image. Let's flip horizontally this one. Make a bit bigger and again change the blending mode light or screen and the opacity as well around 70 percent and this is the result of today's lesson